it feels like it's been a bit of a battle to get here, but it is the midway point of Choco Van. Calendars guarded by a sparkle hog who, don't tell the burglars this, she's quite easy to pick up and move to one side. Day 12 of wine and chocolate. There's the chalk, there's the van. Do you see where it's going now? I mean, we're halfway through. You should have figured it by now. Even I got it this quickly. Anyway, day 12, door 12, door 12, bottle 12, bottle 12. It's gonna be fizzy crap. Oh, it's impressively pink with a bulbous tip and tight in the hole. And it's a fizzy crap of some ice edition Van Moose. Yeah. Van Moose, the third in the increasingly disappointing Van Wilder series. Do you see, do you remember Van Wilder? Um, had uh, Deadpool in it. Really amusing, like, college, hey, I'm just like the cool guy, even though I'm twice the age of everybody else. Yeah, one of those types of movies. And then they did that fucking terrible sequel with Kumar, not good, I forget his name, but he played, oh, it's called Rise of the Taj, isn't it? Jesus, that was bad. Just seriously bad. I'm hoping this wine, El Fizzy Crap, is a lot better than that bad movie. But yeah, I'm getting a little tired of seeing Fizzy Crap, because I'm not a big Fizzy Crap drinker. Don't know if you can tell that from my description. And it smells like Fizzy Crap. Yeah, it doesn't smell as offensively Fizzy Crap as previous Fizzy Craps. It's very foamy. And... It's slightly pink, but only slightly pink. Hmm. Hmm. It's another nothingy one. I'm quite glad of nothingy ones because the less nothingy ones have actually been not that nice. That's actually it's all right. It's again, it's just like a bit of a. What's the brat Schlur. It's like a not particularly yummy Schlur type drink. Yeah, it's okay. But I won't be coming back to it voluntarily. Which is kind of how I feel about Quality Street, although yesterday was awesome. The problem is, the more of the awesome ones I keep getting, the more I know the awful ones are going to be the last. It's saving the worst to last. We're only halfway through, so maybe today won't be one of them. Bollocks. Regular viewers, of which I believe I possibly have two, will know how I feel about these things. This... Oh no! The foil has stuck to it, causing it to be too dangerous to put in my mouth and taste. Yeah, I'm not going to get away with that, am I? It's... This is the strawberry cream and the... Oh... I hope you appreciate the sacrifice I'm about to make in my mouth for you with this. Oh... It's just wrong. I'm not anti-strawberry, but whatever this is, it's not strawberry. And it's not cream. And and it's it's a crime against chocolate. Oh no. Actually I'm gonna say it's not as bad as the orange cream, which is bizarre, all things considered, but why do people eat these voluntarily? Please, I mean, I don't want to do that. I get really pissed off with people who do the videos where they go, hey, yeah, every five seconds, leave a comment below. But please, God, I'm not doing this for the YouTube algorithm. I'm doing this because I want to understand, if you're one of these people that eats these for pleasure, please, please tell me why. Ah. Uh, how is that? Ah. Uh, what's today's celebration going to be? Well, I've been trying to think of a new unsung hero to celebrate every day. And I think today I might just celebrate whatever this is not being a strawberry cream. Yes. Day 12 celebration is chocolates that don't have fruit cream in them. We should celebrate them far more by never putting cream fruit things in chocolate ever again. Oh, that's just... I just don't know why you would do that. I guess I, I don't know why you'd do this. Already had one of these. I'm getting a lot of repetition in this calendar. Not surprising, actually. Two, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, didn't realise there'd be that much repetition. Um, Maltesers, as I've said previously, is a delicious multi middle with a cheap shit chocolate coating. Apart from when apparently you're supposed to celebrate it. 